It's a remarkably innovative model. Um, and even if I say so myself, it's a thing we call social franchising, which means there's Childline India Foundation, which is the core, the hub, if you will, uh, which coordinates this entire exercise, runs a contact center uh, where calls are received. Anyone who calls 1098 is going to have their call answered. Um, the, the actual intervention, where, it, where a physical intervention is necessary, where you need a social worker to go out, rescue a child, or deliver some service to a child, that's done through 540 odd partners across the country who are themselves hubs in their district. So each Childline partner is itself the hub of a range of services that children in distress need, from hospitals to shelters to police to railway authorities, um, child welfare uh, committees, etc. So all of these myriad entities that are in one way or the other involved in ensuring children are protected, each Childline partner is sits at the node of that thing and coordinates across all these bodies. What it does is, a, is it allows you to do something that very few NGOs are able to do. It allows you to do scale because of this coordinated effort, but then it also allows you to deliver a very customized service offering to the individual child that's tailor-made for that child. And usually, when you do scale, you lose customization, or when you try to do customization, you lose scale. So what makes the Childline model in some ways remarkable, and this is why it's sort of emulated around the world, is that it strikes this magic balance between scale and customization.